Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to Throwback Thursday. Um, hey, Willow, come here. Willow, come here. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fun. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Come here, come here. All right, so before we go any further so I can let her go and be, uh, be at peace here, um, this little girl, I am actually filming this right after work, so right before I upload it, on March 16th, 2017, for Throwback Thursday. It is also Miss Willow's 14th birthday. I don't know if you can hear her purring. Can you hear her? Willow, what's that? It's her 14th birthday. You're such a good girl. She's such a good kitty. She really is. There's only a few things like <laughs> She's a kid most of the time. You wouldn't know she's 14. Um, she, you know, she's had the same gray face with the gray, like, same colorings all her life. So it's not like she's changed like dogs do uh, in the muzzle. But anyway, it's her 14th birthday today. So um, thank you for all the love on Instagram and on Facebook for those of you who are my family um, and who watch, who uh, are also on my Facebook too. So um, anywho, thank you very much for all of the wishes. She's doing really well. It's just her rear jumpers aren't quite as jumpy as they might used to have been like even like a year or two ago, but otherwise she's like super healthy and she's got her T, T R E A T right before I got home because she doesn't normally get that except for on Sundays, but because it was her birthday, she got a little extra T R E A T. So moving right along, throwback Thursday. Okay, um, before we go any further again, I'm going to tell you what's on my lips. I have two, a combination of course on my lips. Um, I have L'Oreal Collection Exclusives J-Lo in, it's Jennifer Lopez Nude. This is the lipstick that I have all over my lips. Love this. This is a no fuss, no muss lipstick. It's fabulous. It's a pop on. You don't have to worry about it going out of the lines so much. And my friend from Minnesota, no, it's not Christy, but thank you, Christy. Christy is a friend of mine, um, Send Junkie 3 but another friend of mine from Minnesota, she sent me a, an awesome care package and in, in it was this actually, it's a Buxom Dolly and it is actually the full on lip polish, which I found out when I put the Dolly lip cream, they're very different. This one's more um, got glitter on it and the other one's a matte, but I love them and I've been using this a lot on top of um, like lipsticks, similar lipsticks. Okay, to the actual reason why you're here. <laughs> um, so this week's Throwback Thursday was selected by Julie Salzman. So thank you very much, Julie, for selecting this week's Throwback Thursday. And this one's a little bit different. Now, I brought out an older jar. Um, this is what we're going to be talking about, the Lilac Blossom. Um, what would you have called this again? I can't remember. Anyway, it'll come to me. But it was like the medium-sized single wick candle from Bath & Body Works in Lilac Blossom. And... As this color is purple, the glass that used to the jar that it was in the candle was a purple color just like this. But it was part of my throwback Thursday last spring and then I, you know, with moving it all the time, it broke because I dropped it. Um, so I had to shatter most of the glass portion apart um, and then to pull out the actual wax. And I posted a photograph on my Instagram. So we've got what I have left. I mean, it's quite a bit of wax. This here that you see that's left is near from the top. It's actually, if I turn this upside down, this would be the very top of the candle, as if you would have seen it on this. So um, this is the cutting board I've des designated to my cutting uh, for wax. But I still have quite a large chunk of this. Um, again, this is Lilac Blossom, the label, which was just a, it was more of a hefty um, plasticky um, dust cover. So that was nice. Uh, still lids are nicer um in case you're wondering this i decided not to use my actual knives for my cutting or to cut wax so i actually picked this up when i was on my sat um when i purchased my first sassy girl aroma order they have this for sale for seven dollars but i think you can get them also nice like really cool ribbed ones like wavy ones from like michael's and things like that so this was seven dollars american i should say too my cutting board I actually got for my birthday years ago. Um, it has a K on it. Again, you'll have seen it if you follow me on Instagram. So, and that's Candy Kim 1978. So before we go any further, I will tell you, and the, like that again, that's the reason why I melted this is because I um, this was broken in, and obviously I can't burn a candle that the jar is broken. So I melted it. 
Um, they describe Bath and Body Works describes this candle as delightful, a uh, delightful lily of the valley blossoms and violets around lush lilac in a springtime fragrance. Okay, so um, scent appeal on cold. I'm not huge on the floral, but I was really into those jars. In fact, this I mean I have a couple more different scents, more summer scents like this one's a watermelon lemonade. I really enjoy these um, hobnail jar. Hobnail jars, that's what they call these. So I picked up a, I pretty much one of every color that I could get my hands on um, because I really, really like these and I can repurpose them, but unfortunately that one broke, so there you go. Um, so Sun Appeal on Cold, it's not something I would pick up. Florals, if you've been following me for any time whatsoever, you guys know florals are not normally my genre of choice. Um, they're not what I reach to if I want comfort or anything like that. I like, um, I do like lavender, but I like also lavender mixed with things. But for the majority, I'm a foodie, I like gourmand and I like bakery and fruit. At the end of the day, that's what it is. But I I do like this on cold. Um, it is true, full on. I, I have no idea they're talking about delightful, delightful lily of the valley blossoms. I smell lilacs. I smell like close your eyes someone has grabbed a bunch of um wild lilacs from their neighbor's yard and it's a boy from the neighborhood and he wants to make a really nice impression on you and you're just this little girl and he comes running up and he gives you a bunch of lilacs and you're like oh man it smells so good that's what i smell there's this whole lily lily of the valley i have no idea i don't think so this is 100 percent lilacs to me and lilac blossoms but it's gorgeous it is beautiful it is just the way I am so happy with this there I know there's a lot of people out there that um, Bath and Body Works um, I know they've got wallflowers out right now and I can't attest to the wallflower but uh, this is fantastic I am happy with this again I can only take in small doses which is why I still have quite the chunk I'm gonna save a little bit of this for future I might even blend it with a vanilla or something like that um, down the road but uh, because with me and florals I have to like I, I did I'll show you in a second I'll show you in a moment but I did um, like just let the uh, lilac blossom for before this review and I've saved this chunk for mixing for after so um, but when it comes to the warmer and I'll put this down for a second I have many different warmers and I'm thinking about tell me if this is something you guys want to do I don't want to step on toes of of a lot of other YouTubers that are getting into wax and things and it's not my style I don't want to step on toes but if you guys want me to do a, a dedicated video of what I use in my home for warmers melters um, things like that and maybe if I have time my current collection of wax although it's about to grow uh, I think the month of April I'm that's a long story but you will see it the month of April will be insane and intense <laughs> uh, for wax vendors so um, but let me know if that's something you guys want me to, to show you um, uh, I down the road I could do a cutting video it's just not my thing I just don't I don't because I don't I only have my phone right so it's so hard to like put the phone in the right place and film a cutting video but if this is something that you guys would like me to do or try to do I'm more than happy to do so on the note of warmers so the lilac, the lilac blossom I've been chunking up and putting into one of these this is a warmer in Canada I picked it up on sale at Pharmasave so um, the brand is and it's one of those electric warmers it's got the little toggle on there to turn it on and off um, I don't even know what brand it is anymore. Isn't that bad? Uh, it's 110 or 120 wa uh, volt battery. Anyway, it looks like this. It comes in two pieces, and then this part goes on top. Now, the way this particular melt has been melting is just as you see it here. Chunk up a bunch. You put some in here. You let it melt and it emanate your um, space. And when you turn it on, this little light also turns red as well to let you know that it is on um, so this is how I've been melting my wax for the uh, lilac blossoms so with that being said quite, because this dish is quite wide I could fit quite a lot of wax it throws crazy and that's why I can only put it um, on for a few hours at a time 
because by the time it completely immerses or sorry but completely melts down to a liquid um, it doesn't take long and my place smells just like you've walked through um, lilac blossoms just the raw lilac blossoms as I described earlier so although scent appeal for me on cold is not the highest I'd give it maybe a six it's not my favorite it don't hate it but um, for a floral is concerned it's doing pretty good for throw um, I would chunk up probably in here right now is probably a quarter of what you would see in here if I chop this up into four pieces that's what a fourth of what is what is in here currently and um, and it's been lasting pro I don't I can put my warmers on 24 7 I could but I tend to I don't want to miss out I am I'm a person kind of in control <laughs> I like those issues, right? Um, no, I need to, I want to be able to smell them while I'm there. I feel like I'm waste. I feel like I'm wasting my scents. Sometimes if I have a crappy one that I just, a uh, wax melt that I don't like, it'll go on all, all day or all night while I'm sleeping because I don't care. But for the review purposes, of course, I'm going to have this uh, only going on when I'm home. So, and again, if you guys want a video, a sort of video on how I melt and why these are in two pieces, just let me know because I have a, quite a few different um, melters in my home now. Um, anyway, with that being said, so the throw on this one, I will give it, it's like, it's as if I had three wick candle from Bath and Body Works in Lilac Blossom. So for one candle, this did really well, um, in wax melt, I would give it probably an eight for throw in this great room. Cause where this is situated is actually just right over my shoulder here. So it's done really well. Cause this is what would be going on in my great room here. So it was fantastic. Um, so yeah, and I don't have any issues or anything like that. It's been fantastic. So this is a really long video and I apologize. I've been rambling in that, but, um, so with that being said, thank you very much, Julie Salzman for picking Lilac Blossoms from Bath and Body Works. Again, if you guys have, um, if you guys want to request a type of video, I'm, I am I may or may not do them. I'm not sure. I don't want to step on toes. There's lots of people I respect who um, I watch on a regular basis who do great jobs and things like that. With, and I don't want to, you know. But anyway, if you want to see how I melt, what I use to melt, um, cut perhaps a cutting video in April once things start coming, rolling in. Because like I'm, I'm not joking when I say I think I got five vendors coming my way. So, yeah. Anyway, moving right along. Okay, first comment down below. Whoever picks the next fragrance for whether it's a candle or a melt, I will acknowledge that. There will only be one selected. Hopefully I will remember this because <laughs> I keep forgetting. Um, and I will melt or burn all week long and I will come back to you guys and let you know what I think about that melt or the candle. So we'll start with the candles that I have for options here. I have Illumes. Uh, sorry, the clover or sorry, clove, clover leaf nectar. That one there, and a really nice one too, which is D.W. Holmes Two It Candle in Blanc Fleur de Jasmine. And then we have wax melts. So to choose from, we have rose lychee macaroon, violet sugar. Oh, and sorry, those two are both, sorry, these two are both from Sensational that you can get at Walmart. And then we have a Bathing Gardens uh, Glitter Cream Meringue from BZ Tarts Glazed Citrus Pound Cake. So that's BZ there himself, John, and that's that. And Candles from the Keeping Room in Lemon Fluff. Sensational's Iced Lemon Sugar Cookie, which I know has been very popular, and it's actually a regular line. Like, I believe it's regular, because every time I go there, it's, it's at my Walmart. Uh, Rose Girl's Lemon Supreme, so I've got quite a few chunks of that. And Sensational, this looks like all the rest of these are Sensational's. Honey Lavender Ice Cream. Honey Bourbon Frosting. And lastly, we have petal showers. So you guys, again, first person down below makes that comment. I will acknowledge that and I will be melting or burning your selection. So thanks very much for your patience, you guys. And I can't wait to hear what your comments are about um, wax melts. I know that it's, before, I'm gonna make this a long video. 
Before I go, I know there's, there's a lot of people moving from, not completely, we're not, most of us are not leaving candles. Uh, we are just shifting ever so slightly to vendor wax or wax from Walmart for that matter. That's how I got started. And for me personally, I can only speak on my own personal um, thoughts and opinions here. It's truly, for me, how frustrating it is these days. The prices are going up like crazy at, at places like, you know, Bath & Body Works. And I love Bath & Body Works. But I've decided to go down from having three of my favorite, like buying three to buying two. And really being smart with what I want to purchase. I'm only going to pur be purchasing the items or the scents that I really, really... I think are new that I like or returning favorites that I absolutely cannot live without that are already been my favorites and I can't and I every season I have to such as like endless weekend things like that for me that's a staple um but also too it's really exciting I'm really enjoying the vendor wax world um I, I'm hoping this summer to really venture into the Canadian vendor wax there are a lot of Canadian companies that do vendor wax which I think is awesome but um, I'm just really enjoying it. It's super fun. It's so great to change out my scents as often as I wish. Blending things is amazing. I do not have to have the hassle of a wick, um, puny wicks, all that kind of stuff. So for me, that's huge. Um, yeah, there's just so many different things. But I mean, I love candles. That's my, that's my love. That's where I started. I'm not leaving candles. But what you're going to see is a quite a, a quite a shift if you haven't already seen it um so i'm sorry i'm I, I know that there's some people that are really disappointed they found my channel based on my candle reviews and such i'm not stopping those do not get me wrong but i'm really enjoying the vendor wax i'm enjoying the office authenticity of the sense that i'm picking up and the blends that i can create if i wish to as well it's so great to be a part of a creative process um, yes, it can be more expensive, but if you hunt these stashes, anyway, this is like a total ramble and I'm sorry if you stayed here into this, maybe we should make another video. I just, I ramble away. It's been a while since I sat down and done a video because when I do, I sit down and do a bunch. So, all right, I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> sorry, you guys. As always, be safe and have fun.